Hello everyone, this is CG Turf, and today I'm going to be looking at um, the Circularize tool. I remember I talked about it in the tips and tricks um, for Maya, but right now I'm just going to look a little bit deeper than I did in that tutorial. So, now before I actually show you the circulate, I want to show you the Boolean first uh, to sort of show you what other people do. I mean, this works. It actually works. It's just that sometimes it's unnecessary because when you use booleans, booleans, you still need to fix the topology. Um, but so, I mean, sometimes you will need to just use booleans because sometimes some of the shapes are complicated. So you take this. Uh, other shape and then you're just gonna select these two you're gonna go to mesh booleans and I think it's I always get confused here but I think it's different yeah it is and then it's gonna create that circle for you but then when you start to smooth it you see it's not gonna look good because now you've got all these you've got five-sided shapes and this is I don't even know this is what this is five this is probably six and it's just and this is and for you to fix it you need to create these edge loops that will go around and all that i mean i, I guess maybe let me actually see if i can actually let me do this and then mesh booleans difference yeah yeah, it's, it, it becomes really messy. You see right there? And to try and fix that is just a nightmare. I mean, but if it's like, it, you actually have to, because I mean, this tool is, is actually a good tool. But for a simple uh, circle like this, you don't need to, need to do this. If it's like a complicated shape, then you can use this and then afterwards you can fix the topology. But for simple shapes like this, I'm going to show you the right way to do it. Just for a recap, I'm just gonna create a cube like this. Um, I'm gonna add some subdivisions. And let's say, let me select these faces. That's where I wanna put the actual circle. And then I hit shift, right, right click. And then I click circularize. And yeah, and I think this is where I sort of showed you how you can create a button. Um, you can hit extrude like that, and you know, and this is what you have, which is fine, but I think there is also a situation whereby you can have as like a cylinder. And it's curved. Um, let me reduce this. Actually, let's just keep it that way. Mm, I don't want any. I just want the height like this. Okay, I think this is fine. So I'm just gonna select these. Okay. Mm. Maybe let's select these ones like this. <clears throat> okay, so we're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna hit Shift, right click, uh, circularize. But this time, actually, you know what? Let's just click circularize components, and it's gonna do that. <laughs> and obviously, I think in most situations, you might actually just, you know what? You like, you actually might want it. Like you might want to do it this way, because if you hit extrude, um, let me just hit extrude again. I mean, this might be something that you want, and it's still fine, right? But there might be a situation where by no, maybe you don't want that situation, because right now the circle is straight, and you want the circle to curve um, with the cylinder. So in that case, when we hit uh, circularize, I don't see it anymore. Oh, there it is. So you have this box right here. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to, 
Oh, and also if it's twisted, you can use this to fix the twist. If you just want to align it, you can use that. And then where it says alignment, it says automatic. You want to change that to surface average. And voila, it's now curving with the actual cylinder, which means you can do the the regular extrude and let me actually change. Oh, okay, made a mistake. Let me try that again. Circularize components, uh, surface average, and then I'm gonna hit extrude. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go deep like that, and then hit extrude again, hit extrude, you know, some, like something like that. And I mean, now it's just following the actual curve of the cylinder which i think in certain situations this is something that you might want and i think another thing to note is you can actually create uh, oh like, like like another way to select these faces if you select this uh this brush tool you can just paint hit b to adjust you hold b and then you click and drag to adjust the brush and you know it makes it easier to just select you just brush I was gonna say like for like in this situation you can actually create um, circles simultaneously uh, is it simultaneous double or it's okay never mind so you're just gonna hit sec, uh, circulate okay that's not looking good <laughs> that's not looking good uh, okay Hmm. Secularize. Okay. So that means the boxes they they're not supposed to be in the. I think I guess they're not supposed to be too close. For instance, I have to make sure that because this is the boundary right here. So if I try to create another one, it has to be somewhere there, I guess. Yeah. I think, and then I just change this to surface average, and then I do what I want. I do the things, the extruding things, things. Whatever. I think you get the idea. Oh wait, 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 wait. What's going on here? Hmm. You know what? I'm not gonna go too much into detail with this. <laughs> But yeah, I think I think you get the the idea. Um, because the last time I did I showed this too. I showed it like I showed it um like like on a cube. There's actually more to these tools. Um, it's just that in that tutorial I was just showing the, you know, the basics. Um, you know, just to get your feet wet, just to get started. Because if you actually go to options, you can see, mm -mm, like I, I selected the wrong thing, uh, secularized components options. You can actually see that there are a lot of things you can change in, in terms of like what you might want um, to do, you know. So I hope uh, this, this tutorial is going to be helpful for you. Um, uh, hopefully when I like when I'm doing like the actual modeling tutorials sometimes I just use these tools without stopping and actually explaining and for me as well I'm, I mean I'm still learning so some of the stuff I just use what I want to use because I know it and I know it's gonna help me but sometimes there are actually easier ways to do things so also I mean feel free to also say um, to, to also share your tips and what I can do to make it easier for me and for everyone else who will be watching. So I hope this will help you and don't forget to like this video, subscribe so that when I upload um, more videos, you're going to get 
notified so that you don't miss a thing. If you have any questions, uh, you can just put them in the comment sections and I'll see you on the next video.